This right here is character.ai. It's a new type of chatbot that is uh, pretty interesting. It lets you chat with historical, fictional, and celebrity figures, and even create your own chatbot. So let's go ahead and check out what it has to offer. The first thing you'll notice is there are a bunch of different categories uh, that label each of the available bots. So for me, if I wanted, I can click on language learning. And just from this, I can select the German tutor and he'll tell me that, hey, I'm gonna be your virtual language tutor and I'll help you become more proficient in German. So I can say, how do I say hello? And there you go. <laughs> Very cool. Of course, Google Translate can tell me how to say hello and goodbye in German, but I like this because it's conversational and allows me to elaborate. So in this situation, I don't know how to say goodbye in German and reading this is not helpful. So asking it, how do I even say that allows it to just tell me, hey, it's gonna take time, it's gonna take some practice, but try this and it gives me a solution to my problem. So for that, one thumbs up. Of course, it doesn't stop there. They have a little bit of everything, like a programming AI assistant, just a work study buddy, and you know, a lot of weird ones like your no-nonsense AI assistant. If you want, you can have some really interesting conversations with people like Albert Einstein and Abraham Lincoln. And for some reason, if you wanted to talk to Mario, go for it. Who wouldn't want to ask Walter White some interesting questions? Or if you want to go down that rabbit hole, you could uh, do politics. Keep in mind, this is all community driven. I mean, we have Dr. Phil, God, and George Washington all in the same recommended area. With that in mind, you need to know about AI hallucinations. So basically, this is when AI produces false results. This is common because this is all community driven. This isn't actually Dr. Phil. This isn't actually God. And so with that in mind, just know that everything you're going to read, you should go into it with the assumption that it's just false. That doesn't mean you still can't have fun and learn some things, but just go into it with that mindset. Over here on the left-hand side, there is a create button. So let's go ahead and press that. There are two different options, create a character and create a room. If you create a room, we can actually take different chat bots like Dr. Phil and God and put them in there and have them speak to each other. And we can even interject if we want. Create a character is how you go about creating one of these chat bots we see here. So if I want, I can make myself into a chat bot or I can, you know, make a new best friend. So let's go ahead and click on create a character. If you do want to create the absolute best chat bot on this website, I do recommend you check out their character book. It's going to break down in different sections how to properly train your character to get the best possible results. It's pretty straightforward in the beginning because all you're doing is assigning a name, assigning a greeting, and it gives an example here like, hello, I am Albert Einstein, blah, blah, blah. And then here you can toggle image generation. I just want to say their image generation isn't anything special. So if I was you, I would leave that unchecked. Visibility, this part's pretty cool because you don't have to keep it public. You don't even have to keep it unlisted. You can keep it for just yourself. So that's pretty nice. So with everything filled out, you can either just hit create and chat and call it a day there. Or if you want, you can edit details, which is advanced. Now the page is going to change a little bit and allow us to fill out a description, uh, categories, character voice, and so on. So let me go through real quick and get this set up. One of the options is character voice. So we can actually assign an audible voice to our bot. So let's uh, pick one from our list. I am DV bot. I know everything about DV because I am DV. Pretty good. Here at the bottom under definition, you want to either insert a chat with Divi bot or example messages. So for me, I just decided to write out some fake messages like, hi Divi bot, I'm having trouble customizing the header, blah, blah, blah. And Divi bot comes in and tells you how to solve that. So this is going to help with the tone of voice and just sort of how it, the bot would carry itself in a conversation. Now let's go ahead and hit save. Just like that, we now have our custom chat bot. I'm gonna go ahead and ask it a simple question and let's see how it does. So there we go, uh, that's pretty cool. I'm not going to say that those are the perfect recommendations, but that bot now matches the example messages that I provided. So I'm pretty happy with that. So going back to the create button, there's also create a room, which we discussed. Let's actually try that out. Let's put Elon Musk with Tony Soprano and Mario. Let's have them talk about life on Mars. So now in real time, they're gonna start discussing the topic that we set. As you can see, it's not perfect by any means, especially with multiple people, 
Like, no matter what I do, I'm just trying to get Tony Soprano to respond, and I can't seem to do it. If you're interested, you should check out the community tab. There's a lot of cool things here, like share your characters, character creation tips, and even feature requests, which I think is going to play a big role in the future of character AI. It's not bad by any means, but there's no real purpose right now, and I think that'll change over time. But either way, it's a pretty interesting website. And there we go. That's all you need to know about character AI. If you have any questions, let us know in the comments below. If you like this video, then be sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more like it. With that said, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.